Peace be with you. With you and your spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. Glory to Christ our Lord. These twelve Jesus sent out, charging them, Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans, but rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and preach as you go, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. You received without pay, give without pay. Take no gold, nor silver, nor copper in your belts, no bag for the journey, nor two tunics, nor sandals, nor a staff, for the laborer deserves his food. And whatever town or village you enter, find out who is worthy in it, and stay with him until you depart. As you enter the house, salute it. And if the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. And if anyone will not receive you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet as you leave that house or town. Truly I say to you, it will be more tolerable on the day of judgment for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah than for that town. Ushuha la la aminai. Good evening, family. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Today's actually a pretty cool day. Um, it is the feast day of St. Francis of Assisi. I don't know if you guys knew that. He is an awesome saint. Um, so we pray for Pope Francis, for Bishop Francis, and uh, for Father Kevin as well. I texted Father Kevin and I'm like, you're St. Francis. So I, I told him happy feast day. Uh, so it's a cool feast day. And when you think of St. Francis, do you know, do you think of anyone else? Just wondering. St. Clair, very good. And so St. Francis and St. Clair were like besties. And they were spiritual best friends. And they had like such a really powerful, beautiful relationship. And I was thinking of that throughout the day. Who are your best friends? And what do you guys do together? Do you guys build up the kingdom of God like St. Francis and St. Clair? Are you guys out on mission to, you know, proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is at hand? And do you build a community of people around you that does the same thing? Or do you have other friends that maybe are, maybe you're the shady one, but <laughs> other friends that maybe you're not doing so many good things together? Or think of your relationships boyfriend, girlfriend, your best friends, the guy and a girl. Like, what do you guys do together? Well, St. Francis and St. Clair, they lived all for Jesus. They were on mission, and they supported each other. I'm looking at many of you women, and look, I'm a guy, I'm a celibate guy, but you women, a lot of you have supported me, and you are like my Claire. Aw, but for real, like, every... Every Francis, every guy needs a Claire, needs a strong, holy, faithful woman that is going to push that man to keep growing, keep building, keep seeking the kingdom. And same with St. Claire. Every woman needs a strong man who is going to push her to holiness. So today we remember St. Francis and St. Claire and reflect on the relationships that you have especially with the opposite sex, and do those relationships build up the kingdom of God? We have Scripture Social tonight, and if you don't have those types of relationships, I want to encourage you to come tonight and build them. We're coming in the name of Jesus to build friendship in Christ. I used to think, like, what's the point of a Bible study when you have all these podcasts all these YouTube videos. Look, real talk, Father Namir is smart, but I'm not that smart. Like, it's not, like, you guys can learn so much more from podcasts, from YouTube. But I thought to myself, it's not just knowledge that we need. We need community. And so please be part of that community tonight and build those relationships.